Hello everybody, in today's video, I'll show you how to create a clean and natural makeup look that's ideal for work or a casual day out, giving you a fresh and awake appearance. So let's jump right into it. First, I'm using a concealer from For Color to color correct my dark circles and redness. The palette includes 5 different colors to neutralize various blemishes. I am using my MAC concealer brush and mixing the pink shade with the orange shade to cover my dark circles. And I'm blending the sides with the sponge to ensure that the concealer stays in place. Then, I will apply the green shade to conceal the redness under my nose. And again, I'm using a sponge to blend the sides. Moving on, I'm applying the Ceramic Skin Perfector Cushion from Amuse. This lightweight foundation offers light to medium coverage, leaving the skin smooth and flawless without appearing cakey or heavy. It provides a semi-matte finish and is available in 4 shades, with shade 02 being my match. The best part is that it lasts all day, making it ideal for work and school. For blush, I'm first going to use this liquid blush in the shade Bliss from Rare Beauty. And I'm using a sponge to blend this out. It has a matte finish and it blends beautifully, leaving the skin soft and healthy looking. And it's perfect for beginners who are new to makeup. I will then layer a powder blush from I'm Mimi in the shade Rosy Tea on top to enhance the colour and extend its longevity throughout the day. And I'm applying it on my cheeks and nose for a natural flush. Next, I will use a blue powder to brighten certain areas of my face like my under eyes, forehead, nose bridge and brow bones leaving it looking refreshed and awake while also setting my makeup in place. But if you have an oily skin, you can just use a powder to set your entire face. To shape my brows, I'll begin with the Benefits Brow Powder to achieve a softer, more natural look. I will then use a brow pencil from Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil to fill in those missing hair, giving a fuller and more defined appearance. And I'm using a spoolie to blend it out. And here's the before and after. To achieve that clean girl makeup look, I'll simply apply a neutral eyeshadow from Too Faced Just Peachy Matte's palette in the shade Peaches and Cream all over my eyelids and lower lash line for a cohesive look. A tip when applying eyeshadow is to start by applying it at the end of the eyes. This is because that is where it has the most pigment. And then slowly blend it to the front for a more gradient look. For my lashes, I'm using a lash curler from So Cute to give them a curl. If you have Asian lashes like me and you're looking for a lash curler, you can actually try this brand. This is one of the most comfortable lash curlers I've used. Then, I'm applying the Canmake Quick Lash Curler Mascara in soft brown to keep them lifted all day, maintaining a natural look. And here's a comparison of after applying a mascara and without. To add warmth, and dimension to the face, I'm using this bronzer from Too Cool For School. I'm lightly applying it to areas such as my cheekbones, jaw lines, and forehead for a sun-kissed effect without looking overly contoured or heavy. For highlight, I'm applying a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Highlighter in Soft and Gentle to achieve a velvet, soft and radiant finish without appearing excessive. I'm focusing on the high points of my face such as my nose bridge 
the tip of my nose and my cheekbones. To finish off the look, I'm going to use a nude and natural toned lipstick from Burberry in the colour Nude Pink to provide a subtle yet polished finish for the overall look without overwhelming the clean aesthetic. And that is a wrap for today's tutorial. I hope you pick up some useful tips. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye!